What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys some brand new Gotham City Imposters gameplay with commentary that's going to be about how not to get sliced up by the Falcon Blade. Man, oh man, Falcon Blade plus Roller Skates. Ugh. <laughs> no, um, I'm also going to be talking about crossover between the uh, consoles and uh, PC. I've actually had a couple questions now. Um, from you guys on playing with you know mouse and keyboard and uh, controller and how I do it and uh, some tips advice things of that nature so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well um, I'm using the let me see character type that I think is burly on this game type with uh, roller skates as my gadget uh, you guys see I'm rocking that rocket launcher uh, the thunder dragon with uh, missiles as my mod so they shoot out very rapidly. I'm going to talk some about that rocket launcher. And then my other weapon that I have is the Huntsman uh, with extended magazines. So, uh, you know, Huntsman, uh, just a little bit on the Huntsman. It doesn't feel as good on PC as it did on console. I don't know what it is about it. But there's times when I, seems like the recoil is, is maybe a little bit different. I, I can't put my thumb on it, but it just, whenever I try to rapid fire, um, it, it just doesn't feel as accurate and uh, you know when I pace myself a little bit it seems like it's a little bit more accurate and it's just like even if my my uh, gun is, is right on them my crosshair, crosshair is right on them it's just not hitting them so I don't I don't know what that is it looks like I'm getting a little bit of a lag spike I think in this room or those guys just aren't moving maybe they're just not moving and letting me shoot them uh, I'm not sure uh, now on the rocket launcher the Thunder Dragon this is actually the first gameplay where I've actually sat down and used the uh, launcher. And after kind of thinking about it uh, a little bit after this gameplay, I was like, man, I so should have used something where I could get above the players, the enemy players, instead of shooting straight at them. Um, some initial, some early gameplay that I had from the rocket launcher, uh, you know, when other people were using it on me, I was getting knocked back. So that's like... One of the things I noticed is like if you're getting hit by it, you're kind of like just getting disoriented knockback essentially uh, from it. So I was like, oh, that seems like it's really cool. I'm going to have to try that out. Um, and then I didn't try it out and I don't know why. And then a couple more games went by and like there was like one room that I was in specifically where there was like four or five people using rocket launchers. And I was like, man, I really need to try this. So then I ended up switching on this game and uh, trying to use it a little bit. Now, I do have a gameplay where I'm getting that aerial... Uh, combat, call it tribes if you will, type uh, combat with the rocket launcher and the jetpack. I really wanted to show it this gameplay, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to show my first rocket launcher gameplay and uh, have it be this one versus uh, the other one, which I really think you guys are going to enjoy. It was on the 25th floor. It's probably been my favorite game that I've played so far, so I'm probably going to have a few more rocket launcher uh, jetpack games here in the future so I had a, I mean I, I just had a blast playing with it and if you haven't tried that combination I'm sure I, I I'm I know I'm late to the party I know I'm late to the party I know most of you have already probably been there done that but if you haven't damn it is fun it is really fun um, now with I'm gonna start with the key bindings now uh, my support weapon is the uh, hatchet and uh, last gameplay I think it was the last one um, I had a, quite a few good hatchet kills, and I'm still, I still don't feel like I'm as good with the hatchet as I was on the 360. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I feel like it's because the key binding that I'm, I'm using right now is default, so the support item is set to G, and using your index finger for that crossover just doesn't feel really comfortable to me. So I'm probably going to switch it to E, which is like, I think, to activate um, items on the map interaction uh, so I think I'm gonna switch it to E and see how that feels and then I might I might also try the mouse wheel so I'm not hundred percent sure what I'm gonna gonna do yet but uh, I definitely don't like the support item on uh, G now if anyone has some alternate key bindings that they're using for their support item let me know and I might try it out uh, but I have switched around a couple things obviously the uh, activate or interaction item I haven't switched that's default it's on E and then the support item is on default now in terms of getting into PC 
uh, from console or console to PC, whatever. Um, you know, I, I have a kind of a different history than I imagine uh, some people. I know some people either went straight towards uh, PC or straight towards console, or maybe they started off on PC like me and then they switched over to uh, console eventually because, you know, PC costs and all that stuff, trying to upgrade your stuff. Um, so, you know, with my history, I mentioned this several times, I played a lot of Unreal, and I played Unreal for a very, very long time. And so um, that transition for me to PC controls wasn't that dramatic. It was also, you know, I worked at a land center for three years, and there were some pretty good PCs in there. So even at the time period when I was playing a lot of console, I still had access to play PC games here and there. So it wasn't like I was just out of the whole PC uh, gaming arena for a long time at all. Uh, so that transition for me wasn't that difficult. Some quick tips I can kind of give people and my general thoughts on using a controller for PC games, and I always joke, jokingly say this, um, but it, you know there is some some validity to it, and there's a reason why I say it. Uh, so the joke that I have is that I feel like it's insulting to PC gamers for you to use a, a controller on a PC shooter. Like, uh, you know, I I jokingly say that, but in all honesty, I feel like you're kind of handicapping yourself if you're using a controller on a PC. Uh, shooter and it's it's really good to uh, at the very least play a game that you feel kind of comfortable with and just work on your your controls with mouse and keyboard uh, on that game the best thing that I did getting back into PC shooters is keep it simple you know there's a lot of uh, and this is one of the things that's really intimidating about uh, PC games in general is that there's so many key bindings and it's like, oh, I have to memorize this, and this is assigned to that, and that's assigned to this. And it's like, fuck, man, I don't want to do all that. Uh, so, you know, I, I really can't stress enough, like, if you're just getting into it, keep it simple. Keep your movement buttons down, maybe one action item, um, you know, the keys surrounding whatever your movement keys are, and just try to, try to keep it simple. That's the best thing that you can do. In terms of sensitivity, it's really a comfort zone thing. You know, I, I personally don't feel like it's very good to play on a higher sensitivity unless you're playing a very quick twitch. Um, and even then, uh, a lot of the guys that I know don't play on anything crazy. But, uh, you know, I just don't think there's a need to play on a high sensitivity on any of the shooters that are really popular today. I'm, that's, I'm very carefully wording that because I don't want to insult anyone. <laughs> anyone. The popular titles today, I don't feel like it's as demanding for you to have a high sensitivity. So play, play with what you're, what you are comfortable with and, uh, you know, keep it within that zone. And then after you get comfortable, start experimenting a little, a little more. And that's, that's kind of how I baby step my way into, I, again, it's a little bit different for me because I started off PC, played PC for a long time. And then I stopped when I got pretty heavily involved with gears because of my team. So just keep it simple. Stay within your comfort zone and uh, you'll, you'll see you'll start to improve a little bit here and there over time. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and until the next time I will catch you later. Peace.